good team win. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without every other part doing their job. Um, you know, we just did a good job of, of executing. You know, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot. We didn't have, um, you know, penalties. We had our missed assignments down. Um, you know, and when you when you line up and execute, good things happen. You know, if, if you don't line up and execute, then again, it doesn't matter who you line up against. Um, but that was a good good team win. Just how important it was you got off to a good start, 14 uh, to nothing uh, in the game, uh, helped by one fumble recovery uh, uh, by the defense. Uh, how is it when you get up in a game like that and you're out on the road and you're up 14 to nothing? Um, I don't think you can ever let a score, um, you know, affect how you're playing. You, you just got to keep playing every series and executing, you know, regardless of score. It, doesn't change anything you do. This you still got to play the next play, you know. And I, I thought our guys did a good job of just executing. And uh, we we were uh, talking a little bit with uh, Markel Johnson, connecting on that option, halfback option pass or fullback option pass to Isaiah Austin. Uh, that was a really sharp play and uh, good timing uh, demonstrated in that play. Yeah, that was uh, Markel did a really good job because that ball actually got tipped before it got to him. And then those, those DBs triggered fast. So he had to catch, you know, catch a tip ball and then get that thing out, um, which is, is harder than you want it to be sometimes. So he did a really good job with that. I just maybe a overall thought about how Bryson Daly, your quarterback has really grown uh, this year, grown in a great opportunity for him going back to his native state of Texas and having a, you know, such a strong performance, uh, uh, 133 yards passing, and then uh, running for over 100, uh, uh, it just he seems like he's getting better with each game. Yeah, and that's that's how it should be. I mean, again, game reps are are extremely valuable. Um, you know, Coach Worley's done a really good job coaching him, developing him, bringing him along. Um, you know, and, and like we said, we just got to keep trying to play to his strengths. You know, I, th I think we get a better and better idea of plays he likes and things he likes to do and what he's good at. Um, you know, and he continues to develop and he's, I mean, he's a gritty kid, you know, and that's, um, that's what coach Munkin wants. That's what our, our culture is here is tough, gritty kids. And, um, you know, our quarterbacks, you know, no exception to that. There's no thought, um, before I pass over to Ken McMillan, I uh, just going up to Syracuse, uh, uh, what used to be called the carrier dome, uh, a very strong Syracuse defense, top five in the country. Uh, uh what's your thought about, uh, about preparing for Syracuse. Yeah, it's, um, you know, definitely, definitely a really good um, defensive group there. Um, really good defensive coordinator his, you know, his first year doing it, but he's been, a, he's been a coordinator for a long time. Um, you know, and, and we just got to go try to execute against all that stuff they bring, you know, they're going to bring about every blitz known to mankind and you got to be able to try to pick it all up. Um, you know, so again, it's about executing. If we can execute it on it, then good things will happen if, you know, if we don't communicate and get on the same page and don't execute, then, um, you know, good things happen for them. So it's, it's definitely a, a really big test, um, you know, and, and we got a lot of work ahead to get, to get ready for that game. Good. Uh, thanks. And Ken McMillan is up. Hey, Drew, Ken McMillan from the record. How's it going, Ken? Good. Hey, Drew, on that uh, question that Kenny just asked about uh, the blitz thing, um, ha have the three opponents so far, thrown enough blitzes at you and would you are you expecting more or faster blitzes this time um i mean that's that's what they do they line up and they blitz um that's that's what um coach long's always been about his whole career and he's been very very successful doing it so i mean you're you're gonna get some extra rusher on every single play you run that's that's just how his defense is so it's gonna be um you know it, it's gonna be a lot coming at us and again we got to have really good eyes and communicate and, and try to pick it all up. Does playing in the shotgun help or hurt? Um, I, I don't think it makes a difference one way or another. Um, again, it's where you're taking the snap doesn't really affect where your O linemen are getting to. So I, I don't think that part makes a difference. Sure. So uh, I guess Syracuse really kind of wants to push the pace a little bit. Can do you feel like your offense has the capability of adapting to that? Um, you know, I mean, we just, we just got to go out and execute. We're not necessarily a, a tempo team, you know, if, if we can control the clock and, um, you know, have 
put together some drives, which is, you know, against that defense is easier said than done, um, you know, then you have a chance because they're not only are they a good defensive unit, but they've, you know, they've got a very good offense uh, as well. So we got our, we got our hands full. Sure. Coming off the first two games, and then obviously you played really well on Friday night. Was there a particular breakthrough that your offense made in game three versus games one and two? Um, no, I think we've just continued to grow. I think we put together really good practices, um, which tends to lead to really good games. Um, you know, and our guys are, I think they're getting more comfortable in the system. They understand what we're trying to do and how it works. Um, you know, we've got to continue that it's, you know, it's, it's not like it just happens. Our guys, you know, practice really hard. Our coaches have been, you know, coaching their butts off. Um, you know, coach Vitti and coach Drinkle have done a great job up front with those guys. Um, you know, of trying to get them to looks and trying to make sure they know where they're going. And I think you've seen the the improvement there. And those those kids are putting in the time as well. Sure. Um, we, I just asked Mark Kell a few minutes ago about his role and, and Hayden Reed's role this year. I mean, I think we all kind of expected Tyson and Jacoby would eat up the, the, the carries this year, but they're in different roles. And these two gentlemen have really stepped up. Can you just talk about their impact? Yeah, they're they're doing a really good job, um, you know, and that's the thing we've got such got such a talented running back room, um, you know, and the way games go is some games guys are, are going to end up with a bunch of carries and and they're going to get the yards and other games it's going to be another guy, you know, Hayden and Markel really stepped up um, this game when when their number was called and it was you know again they had really good weeks of practice um, and then they went and had success and that was that was awesome to see those guys out there and. Um, you know, feel like they got into a rhythm. 37 points against UTSA down at their place. Is that a little more than you could have even expected going in or not? Um, you know, we, we execute. If you execute like that, um, you know, that that doesn't surprise you. Um, that's again, that was a really good defense. Um, they they gave us a you know a heck of a battle. Obviously, it wasn't like we were just ripping off plays here and there. I mean, we had to work for for every inch of it. Um you know, but you you just like the execution. If you execute, then then points come. If you don't execute, then then you struggle. So we just got to really keep hammering fundamentals um, and good communication and and getting to the right places. I asked Coach Munkin earlier. Uh, obviously, six for six on fourth down is outstanding. But uh, how about third down? Do you did you feel like your team played well on third down or well enough? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, again, and it's it's not always. Um, you know, having to get it on third down, um, you know, sometimes you set yourself up for a fourth down. Um, and sometimes, hey, if it's third and long, sometimes the best thing you can do is is not try to force a play and have a turnover and change momentum. You know, sometimes a punt's going to be okay as well, you know. But, again, the more you can keep the chains moving, the better it is. Um, so we, you know, again, you got to execute – Every single play you got, and if you get it to a fourth, then you, then you got to really try to execute. If it's a, a third and you can convert, then that's good as well. Sure. Uh, last thing, um, obviously the stats speak for themselves, but were there any unsung heroes uh, that we should be aware of, you know, on the offense, people who made a great step or just had a great game? You know, I think our, our offensive line and the tight ends all played a really good game up front. Um, again, when you're able to when you're able to rush the football well, it's because those guys are getting on their blocks. Um, you know, so I think I think that whole group up front did a did a really good job. Um, and that was again, that was credit to the running backs getting yards because because guys are blocking really well. And then they broke some tackles. And um, so definitely uh, I think that whole group did a good job. Jeff talked about the noise at UTSA the other day. Syracuse is bound to be louder. Did you guys have any issues with getting signals, getting, you know, communicating? Um, not that I know of. Um, it seemed like everything was good, but obviously it's it's stuff you prepare for. Um, you know, domes are domes are typically pretty loud. And um, you know, Syracuse obviously is is a good team and they're gonna be having that place rocking and rolling. Um, so we'll we gotta be ready if that does become an issue. All right, Drew, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks all.